Again, pride. I will not use my resurrection stone there. A few moments later. All right, we're gonna try it. You know what? Let's go. I've, I've had enough. They got your ass on camera. This is the clearest video I've ever seen. This is the most HD shit ever. There's not much that happened in the first hour as we begin our search for Tear in the Mine. I did have some really bad aim. That was first I needed. That was a complete miss. We'll get this. Right about there. We want to hit. Yeah, there we go. All right. Did it in one. There was a little bit of puzzling, which I did terribly at. I, I get it. I get it. I understand, all right? I'm just stupid, all right? I can't help it. And then there was sort of like a mini boss rush, and this was absolutely a breeze for me with no trouble at all. Something. I can already feel it. So, yep. I think I found where those righteous were coming from. They will overwhelm Great. quickly. Stay close. Okay, listen. Are we gonna... I think I'm gonna get my ass handed to me. Up. Uh, I refuse to use it again because that was pathetic. Oh no, 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 not poison. Oh no, no, no. Oh! I refuse. It's a point of pride. I am not using my resurrection stone for this. All right, listen. Can we not? You are so annoying. Can you kill that thing? Shoot it some more. Hit it in the face. All right. There we go. All right, we got it off. We got it off. We got it off. All right, hit him again. Hit him again. Hit him again. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, oh yeah. That felt incredibly good. That thing is nasty. Dear God. All right. All right. What's in here? Oh! I was just on my reactions there. Oh, this is a boss! Are there other things in here? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, listen. Okay. I got so distracted and I nearly died. I will absolutely not die. No. Oh, okay, we've survived. We're, we're out of danger for a second. No. <sighs> yep. Again, pride. I will not use my resurrection stone there. Yeah, I'm the way God damn it. Oh. There we go, parry, and again, and hit him with this. There we go. Oh, I needed to bro. All right, we're gonna try it. You know what, let's go. I've, I've had enough. I've had absolutely enough of this piece of crap. All right, let's go. Okay, multiple parries. I... This is not going my way. <laughs> All right, heal. For some reason, this boss has just decided to be the worst. All right. Oh, okay, I nearly, I nearly tried to block that. Come on. Yeah, that's it. And again, and now whale. Very aware of that. One block. Oh, no. Oh. It nearly got me with that. No. Alright. We're getting the parries down. And again. There we go. And again. Hit him again. Hit him again. Alright. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Block. Oh, no. Every time. If I get that first one. It will attempt to hit me with an unblockable. Oh, that didn't work out. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, oh, there we go. You thought you had me. You thought you had me. Oh, no, no, no. 
Oh, oh. Okay, so he'll try and do that even if, even if I don't block it. Okay, we blocked it, we blocked it, we blocked it. Okay, 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 come on, try it again, try it again. And now we gotta move out of the way. Hit him from behind, wail on him. Oh, I cannot believe that killed me so many goddamn times. And I've wasted my resurrection. I hope I don't need that later. Eventually though, we made it further into the mine and sure enough, behind a door there was Tyr the god of war that the prophecy said would lead the armies against Odin in Ragnarok. Tear. What trickery is this, Odin? What game do you play with me now? Except, well, his time in confinement and cruel torture from Odin, I'm assuming, have left Tyr a shell of his former self. He recognizes who Kratos is, as in what he did to the Greek gods, and runs away in fear and Atreus chases after him while Kratos is left to deal with the guards that Odin left behind to stop Tyr from escaping. Now this next clip is in here because it's super important to the story and, uh, well, no. But I like to show that sometimes I'm actually good at this game. Okay, alright. Okay, got some health. That's alright. Okay. Now we take care of these guys. Okay. And over here, and we just get those combos in. Parry that one. Oh, absolutely professional with the way we did that. Did someone else just come in here? Why do I hear noises? Okay, that's just that dude. Okay, he's done. Alright, that felt great. Catching up with Tear. He explains that he ran because he's not sure what's real anymore. I'm guessing Odin's torture was pretty awful to leave him like this. Not only that, Tyr explains that he has essentially sworn off violence all together, which poses a bit of a problem considering he's meant to be, you know, leading armies. You should have taken the spear, defended yourself. No, I've abjured all violence. But you're the god of war. I left that behind long ago. If Odin starts Ragnarok, you really wouldn't fight? Not even if I wished to. We make our escape as reinforcements arrive due to our jailbreak before we arrive back at Brock and Sindri's. With Tyr not really having much information on where to go next, we switch perspectives to Atreus. Atreus wants to figure out what to do next and after linking up with Sindri, Atreus says he wants to talk to Freya and see if she can help. I mean, you remember Freya. Seems like she'd be very willing to help. Sindri doesn't like it either and also suggests that we go talk to the World Serpent, I'm not going to try and pronounce his actual name, who might be able to shed some light on the situation. So first, we go talk to the World Serpent, who clears everything up. That's not weird at all.
Just to be absolutely certain, Atreus still wants to talk to Freya. Leaving Sindri behind, we go on and talk to her, which goes super well. Freya! You should have stayed with Sindri. Wait! Stop! Your father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! He shouldn't have come. He took my son. What makes you think I won't do the same? But she does calm down and talks to Atreus for a while. She doesn't give us any new information, but she does steal the arrowhead that caused Boulder to lose his invulnerability so Kratos could kill him. Atreus turned it into a necklace and still wore it when he went to go see her, which, uh, yeah, bit of a rookie move there, Atreus. Anyway, Freya actually lets Atreus go, which I think could mean that maybe she'll come around, and I think we can be hopeful that maybe she will be an ally in the future. Returning back to Sindri, we head back to Sindri and Brock's home. While we travel, Sindri tells us that a while back, Brock actually died, but he couldn't accept it. So he went into the Well of Souls and retrieved three out of the four pieces of Brock's soul and brought him back to life. Apparently, your soul splits into four or something. No idea. But Brock has no idea that this happened and thinks he just got knocked out. This might also explain Sindri's extreme germophobia as he tells us he can still feel the hands of all the lost souls crawling all over him. That's not confirmed, that's just my theory so far. He's still unsure if he'll tell Brock, but it's eating away at him. Also, just as a side note, I've left most of Atreus's fights as B-roll. It's okay playing as Atreus, but definitely lacks some of the complexity of Kratos' gameplay. I was basically a parry god throughout this section with how forgiving the window was. Back on track though, once we're back home, we all pull up to a table and eat some food as Kratos discusses their next move. Atreus is surprised to find that Kratos wants to investigate things further rather than hide and we're now headed to Alfheim, land of the light and dark elves with tear in tow. We're seeking the shrine of Groa, the knowledge keeper, the person who foresaw the events of Ragnarok, hoping that Atreus can open it again like he did with the first shrine we found in part one. Returning to Alfheim, it seems that Light Elves have taken over completely since we helped them in the last game, but they don't remember us and are attacking us on sight. We puzzle and fight our way through the temple in our bid to reach the top. And these Light Elves, oh boy are they tough to fight. I suppose I'll leave you to it then. I mean, probably. Oh, okay, this one's a little bit different. Oh! Was that... That was, that was a very cool block. Do we get more of them? Ooh, okay, second one came in. I wasn't ready for that, but that... Okay, I actually like fighting these enemies. There we go, get the parry. Parry again. There we go. Okay, well, didn't keep an eye on that one. And there we go. All right, Atreus, hit him. Okay, they take a lot of damage. Oh. Okay. Okay, listen, I'm getting some health. Okay, I've, I've changed my mind. I don't like them, especially when they ganged up like this. As we finally near the top, Kratos nearly walks into the light. He did this before in the previous game, by the way, but Atreus stops him. What are you doing? Father, she's... she's gone. Yes. Kratos heard something, although we're not sure if it was real or just in his mind, but it's clear he misses his wife, and this is actually a very rare moment of vulnerability from him. Once we arrive at the shrine, Atreus is indeed able to open it again, and we're able to see the prophecy in full. It shows how Odin killed Groa because he, well, wasn't too fond of the prophecy. We also get the word Ironwood again, although with the context that this was a fabled giant sanctuary. There's a champion who will play some significant part in Ragnarok. Atreus thinks it's him, by the way. The prophecy enforces that Tyr would fight in Ragnarok, which obviously he's not happy about that. But then there's some extra things that no one has seen before. Asgard is destroyed in this version of the prophecy and the other realms thrive. And most importantly, Odin dies. 
It's clear that Groa lied to Odin, so whatever Odin thinks he's done to prevent Ragnarok is useless because he's working off a false prophecy. Circling back to Tyr, he doesn't seem too happy and refuses to believe that he will ever fight again. So we head back, work our way through some more Light Elves, until eventually, this happens. Oh, I guess we just head down there. Okay, it was just two ways to go do the same thing. He's gonna have to kill, isn't he? Oh. He was forced to kill. Oh! Who? I'm sorry, who are you? All right, I don't know who you are, but I need to go comfort this boy because he's not doing too hot. I think I'm gonna have to use the Spartan Rage very soon. Uh, no, I don't care about you and your... Can I stay locked on? Okay, so that's not something I can... Yep, Spartan Rage it is. Leap, let's go. I need to get back some health. I need to try again. Oh! God damn! All right. Atreus, I wish she dropped more health. All right, not quite one. Not quite one, but I think we'll get it. There we go, and again, and again. There we go, Hidreus, pummel. Okay, we managed to get that block. Oh, okay, got it. I don't want to find out what that does, honestly. Oh! Okay, that's exactly why I didn't want to find out what that does. No! Absolutely not. You've got to stay in close. I can't back up too much. As much as I would like to sometimes. There is no... Okay, no. You know what? At this point, I'm not even taking the gamble. We're doing it. I've got Spartan Rage available to me. I will absolutely use it. There we go, Trace. Come on. Help me out here. Nope. Absolutely not. And you are done. Oh. Hey. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. See, that was a bit of a fun fight. Are you okay? Nice no. little mix of mechanics there. Commanics. I can't even talk. Yeah, you good, buddy? When we finally make it to Tyr, he's visibly shaken up and regrets coming, wanting to return home ASAP. To make our escape, we have to go through the main battlefield raging outside between the Light Elves and the Dark Elves in the Barrens. The Dark Elves though, well I think from this footage you're about to see, it's pretty clear to me why they're losing. I'm so sick of fighting Here we go. Can't they just leave us alone? Uh, they're always fighting. I know, I don't know their patterns, so we have to just kind of make it up. They seem really easy, although I'm historically, I regret saying that. Go, Atreus. And in here. Alright, I they are pretty easy. Okay. Compared to the light elf. No wonder y'all are getting your asses kicked by the light elves. I mean I'm sorry to say it, but I'd I'd give up. Just enjoy being in the desert. Come on. Eat my axe. Okay, I missed, but I got this one. So I feel pretty good about that. I'm not even concerned. Why are you just standing there? There I am. There we go. And you are not even worth my time. Okay. Through here. A little bit of this. And done. There we go. Didn't even break a sweat. I didn't even know he was coming up on me, but y'all are just so predictable. It was that easy. Oh, look at that. Not even a sweat has been broken in this at all. I am on goddamn fire. Here we go. There we go. That one. And give me that one. Give me the health I don't need. I'm good. Oh, no, I had to block that one. Okay, see, the light elves actually caused me some concern. I'm actually going to crack this out because I'm a little concerned I'm going to die. And finally, we make it to the door and tear pieces out as we need to consider our next move. But that's for next time. Leave a like to commemorate the laptop I lost in battle trying to edit this, and leave a comment below letting me know how you're finding the series, but bye for now.